Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes on the private bootleg server, Everlasting. We're now a level 23. Don't believe this number. It lies. I just hit 23. Level 23 Scrapper um, with 237,000 experience and 1.67 million influence. We just hit level 23, which means we're going to get a couple of new enhancement slots. So, like, literally five seconds after I cut the video, I found a little nook that I hadn't noticed from the last episode, and I was able to defeat the last two villains, and that leveled me up. And you know what that means. We're going to turn XP back off. Um, but we just finished the story arc, so that's all right. And um, so now... Uh, wait a minute. Let's leave the XP on so we can get the story arc XP and then we'll turn it off. So now we're going to talk, call our contact and we get our last little bit of experience which actually was two beads and a half for completing the story arc. To be honest, for a minute there I wasn't sure you could thwart the Tzu campaign to take over the other gangs. I guess you showed them. You did an excellent job today, Silver Phoenix. If not for you, the Tzu would have quickly established utter dominance over the streets of Paragon City. I heard through the grapevine that their leader, Tub Tzu, ordered a hit on you. Don't worry, no one has been bold enough to step forward to take that contract. Not after the world of hurt you put on the Tzu today. So he has other missions, but we're done with his story arcs. And so that's fin that he is finished, and now we're going to be able to do, I guess, Dr. Lila and Mercedes. Meanwhile, we need to level up. Let's go ahead and turn XP back off, and then we're going to head head to the train station area where Luminary is. Where is Luminary? Right there. And we're going to level up and get two more enhancement slots. And um, so we may get a couple more enhancements, and then we will um, try another mission. Maybe grab a couple missions from Dr. Lila or Mercedes. Not sure what I'm going to do next. But first, Luminary, give me some levels. All right, so we get two slots. So what do we want to do here? I think. We want to finish health. All right. Now, I'm not going to bother with crafting IOs right now. Oh gosh, our salvage is full. Let's go to Wentworth and see if we can sell some stuff. Um, I have no room in my um, in the bank vault either. So this is Wentworth's um, selling something that's not sold yet for some reason. But anyway, so what you can do is you can take something and put it up and see how much it sells for. So I've got 20 inanimate carbon rods, right? So I can put, say, five of them up. Now, what this is saying is they sell for about nine to 10,000 each, if you see over here, right? Um, 8,001, 9,000, 9,000, 10,000. So I'll put it up for, I don't know, 4,000. Figure that should sell because I'm underselling the price and we'll see if it sells I don't know so far not but maybe it'll sell at least that gives me some openings here we can try maybe scientific theory see how much that's selling for so we sold our inanimate carbon rods got 25,000 influence for that um, these things are selling for 5,000 each 10,000 each so let's put them up for 4,000 as well. And they sold right away, and we got 24,000 experience. Try our influence. So there we go. So that gives us some spots in our salvage. Um, none of those are in any recipes we currently have, or the game would warn me. So, all right. So now we're going to go to where? Fault line, or do we want to do Mercedes? Let's go to Fault line. We haven't been there in a while. 
and we can do Doc Delilah's missions. So we're going to take the train to Skyway City. Skyway City South. And we're going to go to Overbrook, uh, a.k.a. Fault Line. So here we go. Gonna head south. Overbrook's right here. And we go through the tunnel and straight to Fault Line. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I think there was a guy right here. I didn't sell my enhancements that I don't need, so here we go. 1.76 million. All right, Dr. Lila. Here we go. And one thing I really haven't done a lot of is collecting badges. I, I eventually will probably wander around getting all the badges I can. I don't know if I'm going to record that. Maybe I will and put it in like a separate playlist so people who don't want to watch that kind of stuff and be bored by it don't have to but if people want to f know like where the badge locations are one of the things you can do you don't really need me is you can download if you look for the vidiot it looks like the word idiot but with a v in front vidiot maps um, the vidiot maps are uh, have all the badge locations and stuff on them so that can be a help howdy she says ask about missions the Buried Past Part 1. Now, I believe that the story we all know about the Fault Line incident has some holes in it, but I need evidence to prove it. That evidence has been scattered in caves and ruins of old bases all around the zone back when Fault Line incident happened, and I've been out here working to find out just what I need. I'm pretty close to understanding what happened, but in order to put it all together, I need to find a better recording of the final battle with Fault Line. I heard about the recording you found for Jimmy Templer, but it's still incomplete. However, I may be able to find a better recording with a bit of help. You see, because the forces of law and order haven't been able to patrol the area recently, until recently, all the vi sorts of villains have been scouring through my dig sites looking for valuables to scavenge and steal. That's why I need someone to help you, to, someone like you to help me. So. She says, I knew you'd be willing to help. <clears throat> now here's the problem. I recently found out that one of the heroes who was a ground z at Ground Zero during the Fall Line incident may have been recording what happened and sent a record back to his supergroup's old base. The poor man died in the event, but that recording just might still exist. As a hero, he was named Akashi Knight, and I think I found where his body came to rest. But those Sky Raiders have figured out that Wherever I try to excavate is also a good place for them to plunder, and now they've swooped down on the site. All I really need you to do is recover Akashi Knight's body, but if you want to teach those Sky Raiders some matters, I would not be put out by it. Alright, so, we're going to do this mission, and not gain any experience for it. So this is close. One of the advantages of these missions in the newer done zones in the newer done story arcs is all the story arcs are in the same zone so we don't have to keep leaving the zone to um, to do our arcs so this will all be in fault line like the previous ones so a lot of things probably f fell into this old cave when fault line destroyed overbrook so this is a cave network it's one of the newer caves the older ones are the ones that look kind of bluish purplish Again, I think Cryptic did a really nice job with these. It really feels like you're in a cave and it's dark, even though they give you enough room to see. So now we're back to Sky Raiders. Again, we have to remember that the first thing we want to hit is the Raider Engineer, and we want to hit them hard and fast. Like that, so they can't generate a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a shield generator. We do not want a shield generator. That makes everything impossible to hit.
Sky Raiders, no engineer, so we can just pound. I don't think these guys have any um, resistance. It's 53 on Thunder Kick. I don't think. I think that's normal. Did I just miss an engineer? I think I did. No, he's an Inferno Raider. That's a teleporter. Annoying, but not that bad. Get this guy before he ports. And the other teleporter will come back. Meanwhile, we can take a look at this. 59 damage, so they do have smashing resistance because they're taking 53. Where's the other porter? Hmm. I don't know. He disappeared. So no engineers. Okay. Let's start with the lieutenant here and stun and then we can hit these guys we don't really need to do that at this point as you can see we're just kicking the butt look at that we're just chewing through these guys So that was 163 damage. So it'd be 184 under focused chi, so. Um, oh, wait, that's with this. No, that's sturdy. Yeah, focused chi. I don't know. So we're not under focused chi now. Let's see. Yep, 59 damage. That's full That's full damage. Oh, I missed the. I missed the friggin'. Uh, I missed the engineer. I was too busy playing around with how much damage I was doing, and I missed him. Alright, good. That takes care of that. I don't know where his um, Akashi Knight's body is yet. We'll find out. And the porter disappeared, but he's over here. Ah, uh, there's the body. So we've covered his, recovered his body, I think, and we've completed the mission. There's still some Sky Raiders in here, so we're going to go beat them up. How many recipes <coughs> do we have now? 21. Got some cool ones, it looks like. Quick foot. This is for movement power. Paralytic, we don't need. Kismet. All right, I'm not gonna worry that much about the set IOs right now. Okay, so no engineers. So we'll just beat these guys up. And one, two, three, done. Good deal. So we got his body and we completed this mission. As you can see, we can now do missions instead of like taking half an hour or something, we can do them in like 10 minutes. Okay, clue found. I hope those Sky Raiders weren't too much trouble for you. No, they won't. Weren't. Um, their leader in the area is a contemptuous fellow named Captain Castillo. He thinks he's some kind of suave air pirate. Would you believe that? He tried to put the moves on me. <laughs> As if I would ever consider that. I know his type. I folded his jetpack into a knot and told him never to bother me again, but I doubt that's going to stop the Sky Raiders. Oh now look at me. I'm sorry for venting. 
but all their heedless plundering is destroying a lot of history. Anyway, let's go back to work. I want to take a look at that body. Poor Akashi Knight. His body is so well preserved. It's like he was mummified. I researched him a good deal. He really didn't deserve to end up like this. But at least he'll help us learn the truth. Confidentially, I think he would have wanted that. Now, the next step is to get the keys, he mentioned, from his old place of work. That building's still intact, so this shouldn't be too hard, right? I know you will prove more than capable. I must say that I'm impressed with you already. So we ask for available missions. And part two is, I've had Akashi Knight's body sent to the university, and we are, we've got ourselves a pretty good idea of where he used to work. From the remainder of, from the reminder he wrote himself, we can most likely find not only where his base was, but also a way in. I really wish I could go, but if I do, those Sky Raiders will be there like flies on sugar, contaminating my sight, so I must ask you to go to Akashi Knight's old office, and we'll go ahead and do that. So I can't go with you, but I'll try to help you by going to another site to distract the Sky Raiders, but do be careful. There may be other trouble at this site. Like I said, be ready for anything. His name was Leonard P. Conway. Akashi Knight, I mean. Time and again, I keep seeing things like this, otherwise normal people, who gave their all to make a difference. Even when they meet a sad end, it still gives me a lot of faith in people. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's a longbow officer up in the dam who wants to talk to you. He's called Agent G. I talked to him some when he first showed up, and he seems nice, sort if a bit tense. Well, after you investigate that office, how about you head on up to the dam and see what's on his mind. So, that guy's probably going to give us some sort of a hazard zone type mission, but we're going to the office and we'll see if we can take this out in 10 minutes. I don't know. So we have to go up. So let's start here. And this will let us get up higher. And then higher. Whoops. Higher, here we go. So he's where? Here it is. All right. Back to combat jump. And in we go. All right, guys, let's see if we can do this mission in 10 minutes or so. All right, so Leonard P. Conway, aka Akashi Knight, once worked here. It kind of makes you reflect on your own life as a hero. Okay. So now. Find his desk and defeat the enemy leader. Now, I think with these destroyed buildings... Oh, this is Arachnos. I think with these destroyed buildings, we don't... Um, they don't usually have working elevators, so they usually don't have multiple levels, but I'm not really sure. There's a spider. Okay. So Arachnos are the guys from City of Villains. They're kind of like the authority in the Rogue Isles. And they're like sort of spider themed. Hence the name Arachnos. They can be pretty tough. But I think we're good. Stun? Yep. Now back to the lieutenant. Got him. Now these things are really annoying because they're hard to hit. So go ahead and use an act. What's this guy doing? These guys ran over here? What for? Is that a respawn? They don't usually do that in missions. And this is a different group of guys. But why'd they run over to here? Weird. Hmm. 
That was odd. Watch out because they explode. And we kicked him right over the ledge. Oh, and now here's a new one. So these guys are kind of on patrol, it looks like. Fortunatus here, these guys are really tough because they can mez. Okay. So they're really trying to stop me from finding out this information. Alright. Nobody over here. Nobody there. Glowies. <laughs> All right. Nobody in there. I guess they do have working elevators in these buildings. Hopefully, the power doesn't get cut out while we're in the elevator, right, guys? Oh, this is going to be a pain in the neck. Let's see if we can stun her. No, but... Did a lot of damage to her. Oh, Blood Widows, they're pretty tough, too. Alright, well, let's do a 1-2-3 on this guy. And then Blood Widow. Let's see if we can stun her. We did. Excellent. Yeah, those guys are tough, unless you stun them like that, and then they can't really do anything to you. Alright. We'll keep going. There's another elevator, but... There's other stuff over here. <laughs> yep. So let's see. This area. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's a patrol. Kill the robot. And then we go after the soldier. Another bot. A drone. So, a drone and a bot. This is an orange lieutenant, a little tougher. Still nothing we can't handle. You running away from me, buddy? No chance. Okay, we took care of him. And now we gotta go back to the elevator. floor. I hear a glowy. And there's the leader. Ooh! Yes! An elite boss. That is awesome. 
All right, we're just gonna hit some luck. Pop focus chi and kick ass. Kick ass and take names. Yeah, she's got some drones, but we're just gonna focus on her. Because they're not gonna be able to hit us. At least not much. And the thing is, when she dies, I think that kills the drones. So we'll see. Yep, we got her. Look at that. Elite boss, our hit points are maxed. Found a clue. I hear a glowy. Should be upstairs, maybe. And there's a Fortunata Seer, so we're going to stun her if we can. Knock back. That worked. Good deal. And now this is probably his desk. And we've completed the mission. How'd we do, guys? Just about 10 minutes. So you see how it was taking us like a half an hour to do missions like this before. Three levels, all these yellow cons, lieutenants, and elite boss. This time we could do it without any trouble at all. Take Arachnos evidence to Agent G. Alright. Oops, gotta turn on super jump. See how I'm using the height to just stay up. So Agent G is going to be in here. Lots of longbows. Oh, oh. Didn't mean to come down there. Yeah, it's really hard to do super jumping inside like that. At least I suck at it. Agent G, how you doing, buddy? Greetings, Silver Phoenix. You can call me Agent G. I'm glad you brought this to me. It puts a name on our opponent, Arbiter Sands. We've been trying to find out why Arachnos is here and what they're planning. Right now, all we know for certain is that they're having trouble with the Sky Raiders. It slowed them down, but it's also made them tighten security, making it harder to find out what they're really up to. Hey, PCM, I wonder. I'd suggest you keep working with Dr. Stein for the moment. She's trustworthy. She also... She's also onto something I suspected for some time. I may ask for your assistance. If so, I'll send a message through her. And now, we're going to call our contact. And she gives us a clue. And she says, Arachnos is mixed up in this. Well, I should have known. I'm so glad you spoke to Agent G. He's a good man for a government type. So, this is Akashi Knight's cash. Let me see it. All these things hidden in his desk. An entire hero's life. And this is all that's left. Oh, well, let's not get too gloomy. Leonard P. Conway did a lot of good in his life. And now this may help save many other lives. If I'm right, clear some names as well. We'll just have to get proof before the Sky Raider or Arachnus do. So not going to take any more missions from her. We're going to look at the clues. So this is the buried past. So this is the just the summary of the story arc. We've got a lot of souvenirs now. Look at all this. We have 14 clues. 13 of them were story arcs. This one, Toothbreaker's Teeth, were kind of the same as this one. But we've done 13 story arcs on this character already, guys. That is pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to cut it here. I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes.